we've built our services, we've built our context, we can now finally start moving on to building out the login and the register UI. The best part of all is that we're going to be utilizing React Hook Forms with this thing called Yup. And React Hook Forms is going to make it so that our lives as, as React form developers, I guess that's what we are right now, is going to be a lot easier. We don't have to worry about e.target.value and a lot of the underlying annoying things that come with using forms in React. Also, we're going to be using Yup, which is a validation library. And we're going to have front-end logic, front-end code that's going to check the login form to make sure that our users are filling it out correctly. Because if you don't provide validation on the front end and the back end, your users will fill out their form incorrectly and we need to prevent that. So let's go ahead, let's hop inside VS Code and let's build out the login. Okay, so I am inside of React right now, the React project folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install React hook form. Yup, and React Hook Form Resolver. So I'm going to go React Hook Form. I'm going to go Yup, and also at Hook Form Resolvers. And the resolver is how we're actually going to connect Yup and React Hook Form. So we need to go ahead. We're going to install that. And also, I am on a Mac. So if you're on a Windows, you just use regular NPM. But since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to go ahead and do a sudo and we should be good to go. That looks good. Also, I'm gonna go ahead, just fire up npm start, make sure that everything ran correctly and we are good to go. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go within my pages and I'm going to create a new login page folder. And this is gonna be a whole entire page. So we're just going to put it in the pages uh, folder and I'm going to say login page.tsx and also, just for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and toss a CSS file in there just in case we gotta do some CSS on this thing. Looking good. So first things first, we're going to do a TSRAFCE that's gonna go ahead and bring in our function. We're actually not passing any props to this login page. So first things first, we're going to type out our form. Now, whenever you use React Hook form, Forms, it's always good to uh, create a type for it and I'm going to call this login form inputs and our login form is going to take a username It's going to take a string and it's also going to take you guessed it a password and we're going to make the password a string of course Next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to handle the validation for yup and we'll just call this validation is equal to yup and let me see here, it might not bring it in, so yup. And we're gonna have to bring it in up at the top here. And I'm going to import star as yup from yup. It's kind of strange saying yup so many times like that, but it's just kind of, I guess, just a cool, funny word. And then we're gonna say object, and we're going to pass in a shape and this is where you're going to actually put in the validation. It's pretty cool. It's almost like a little builder pattern. We're going to say username. And this is where you either research or find online what type of validation. So username is going to be a string. It is required and username is required. And this is what will show if you don't actually input the username. And there's all different types of validation builders that you could add to it. So just feel free to add whatever you want. It's kind of like, it's a little buffet. You pick whatever you want. If you want more, you can pick more, but if you don't, you can, uh, maybe you could even remove the validation. Although I would not recommend that because we need it. All right, password is required and we're looking good. We are making good time on this. Okay, so we're not, we have props, but we're not actually passing in anything, so we can just use this. And here's where we're going to bring in our context. So we're going to say, because this is a login page, we want the login user, and look how cool this is. We're gonna say use auth, and we can just bring it in like a custom hook just like this. And you gotta admit, that looks really cool. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead, bring in React Hook Forms, and 
you really don't need to know that much about React Hook Forms in order to use it, but we're going to need a register. We're going to need handle submit. And these are functions that are going to help us perform these actions. And then we're going to have this thing called form state. And within the form state, we're going to have kind of like an object within an object. And this is where our errors are going to be. Then after this, we're going to use form. And this is uh, another hook that's used by React Hook Form. And this is where we're going to type in our login form inputs. And this is going to type check everything for us. Then we're going to go into here. We're going to use our resolver. And this is where we're going to pass in the yup resolver. And I just go ahead, type it out. So yup resolver and we're going to pass in our validation through here. It should be able to bring it in, maybe not. Uh, no, it's not gonna bring it in, so we need to bring it in up top. And right under the uh, where we bring in yep, we're going to bring in the yep resolver, and we're going to say from at hook form and resolvers, and I spelled resol resolver wrong, so yep resolver. And also I forgot one thing, we need to go ahead and there's different types of resolvers. So we're going to make sure that we bring in the up, go ahead, format it, looking a lot better. We are looking good. So even though React Hook Forms is going to handle a lot of this for us, we need to still create a somewhat of a, uh, a login function. And here is where we're going to pass in our form. And the great thing, is, like I said before, is we don't have to do all the e.target.value. We can just go ahead, uh, type it, do our login form inputs. Then we can go down here, uh, make an error function. And here's where we're going to use the API method that we created in the actual context. I'm gonna say form.username, and we're also going to say form.password. Go ahead, just toss that in. Looking good. This is, we're really making good time on this. Then we're gonna go down here and here's where we're actually going to get our HTML. So I'm gonna drop a link down below and this is going to take you to my blog. And here is all of the Tailwind. Typing out all this Tailwind would be absolute insanity. So just go ahead into the web page that I'm going to drop down below in the description and just go ahead, grab all that Tailwind code. You don't want to type all that out. It's going to be uh, very difficult. And then we're going to go ahead and wire it up. Also, there's no way for us to see the login form right now. So what I'm going to do is just create just a path so that we can see it and we can make sure that it's working. I'm just going to go right down below the uh, home page. I'm going to say login, and then I'm going to bring in the login page. And let's go ahead and see if it's working. So this is what it looks like. You could make the background white, but I thought it looked cool, kind of cool the way that it was. Feel free to customize it, but I'm going to leave it dark and we're going to go ahead and wire up the form with React Hook Forms. So first things first, on our form elements, we need to do the handle submit. Whenever you submit something, you need to actually handle it. So I'm gonna to go to the form and I'm going to say on submit, just wire it up with the React event handler. And then we're going to pass in the handle submit from React form. And this is where we're going to actually put our function inside of. And that is a lot easier to handle compared to uh, regular React forms. Then the next thing that we need to do is we need to wire up all our inputs. And the way that you do it is you just pass in an object you go register, so we're going to say register. And this doesn't have anything to do with actual context or anything that we created. This was made for React Hook Forms. And if you did everything, so we need to go here. Also, we need to get rid of the names as well too. So uh, it's just kind of like a thing that you have to do for React Forms. You gotta get rid of the name because the name is tied into it. So we've got username. Now we're going to go down below the actual input and here's where we're going to do our error handling. So I'm going to say errors.username and we will give a operator here and we'll say, just go ahead and toss in the uh, object that it returns from React Hook Form. So we'll say username and we'll say, and it's going to give us the message. And that is, pretty much it so we got to add that 
uh, the actual bracket there. Also, we need to add, so if there is no error, we're just going to return a string. That looks good. And now we need to do the other ones. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to get rid of the password here. I'm going to go, I'm going to go back. Then we're going to register this input and it's going to be the same exact process. So we go dot, 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 we'll say register. And then this is where we're going to pass in the password. And we're going to do the same exact thing that we did here, but I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and we'll do this right down below here. And this is going to be password. So password, we're going to say password. Okay, that looks good. Also, we don't really need the checkbox. We can just go ahead and leave those. We won't wire, we won't even wire those up. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of the checkbox. Let me see here. So I'm gonna go ahead, we'll get rid of this. We don't need uh, remember me. And also, we'll have to make the forgot password later. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to that. We have our sign in button. Also, we're gonna make the coloring look a little bit better. So we'll go here and for our forgot password, instead of it uh, being dark, we're going to go ahead and make it light. So I'm going to go where I forgot password is. I'm gonna say text, text white, looking good. Also for the sign in, let's go ahead and make it look like a button. And instead of BG primary, I'm going to go into here. I'm going to say BG light green. Okay, and that looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and test in here to make sure that our validation is working. Username, password is required. Let's also uh, change the color to light. So I'm gonna say class name, text equal to white. And I'm going to add this class to the other ones as well too. So go here. Also, one last thing. You may not have done this, but I actually did this. You want to add another slash at the end and make sure that your URL is good. Make sure that you didn't add HTTPS and also make sure that you have the right port number and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead, let's test it out. So make sure that you have a registered user. You went in through Swagger or whichever API endpoint testing that you use and go into here, gonna go ahead, add the password, and here's the moment of truth. Boom, we get a login success. Also, one other thing is that you probably want to go into the application and to check to make sure that your token and your user are there and that everything is working correctly. That's pretty much it. Next, it's going to be the register protected routes. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.